Good afternoon and welcome to my daily chat. Today we're going to talk about the big R word, responsibility. Officially this is chapter, sorry, chapter, episode, <laughs> episode 728 and the topic today is responsibility, a vital key to freedom in relationship and individually or in, when single, either way you look at it. Before I jump into the topic and break it down and explain it and show you some keys and explain some stories, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and why I do these talks every day. My name is Barry Selby. Hi, if you haven't seen my podcast before. Um, I do this every day. Actually, I'm jumping around myself. Sorry, start again. Hi, my name is Barry Selby. <laughs> I'm a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and relationship attraction expert helping women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for Divine Feminine, which informs my work with women and also why I do these talks every day. Because these started over two years ago called Messages for the Masculine, Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. So today we're at episode 728. So a lot of these have happened so far. And the topic today is all about responsibility. And I'm talking about freedom in this one, which is why I want to frame it as not like a heavy burden, like, oh my God, I've got to be responsible, but more about how it's a door opening up to freedom, which you might want to think about embracing. Yes, you could actually have fun with this. And even freedom, what a concept. Whether you're in a relationship or single, or both. It, oh, sorry, whether you're in a relationship or single, for both it works. I almost said it could be both single, and, yeah. Okay, so let's jump in. And uh, if you haven't seen me before, by the way, this is my daily Facebook Live I do every day on my personal page on Facebook. It also goes out to YouTube as well later on. So if you're watching it on YouTube, it was originally on Facebook Live. So if you're watching it live, you can interact. If you're watching it in replay, you can interact as well. You can please post comments, thoughts, and stuff as long as we go along. If you have any questions along the way, uh, please post them. If I'm live at the time, I'll respond. If not, I'll do it in the comments afterwards. So there, because I'm responsible that way. <laughs> All right, so the reason why we inspired this talk today, is two things actually. I saw a friend posting about being responsible in your life and in a relationship, and it was like the way you put it, challenge a lot of people. And for me, it's like always is one of my go-tos because I've learned the lesson of not doing it too many times, which is why I do it. And I'll give you an example in a moment. Additionally, I happen to have a, po a Facebook memory show up and one of the quote, one of the, the memes, because I post memes a lot over the last, well, I've done it for a few years now. There's a meme comes up and it's, it's, a, it's an inverse of the devil made me do it. You know, people say like, I mean, I'm sure it's common anymore, but it used to be a very common phrase people say, it's like, you know, when you do something you shouldn't have done, it's like, oh, the devil made me do it. So the meme is something the lines of, um, when are you gonna finally stop blaming Satan and take responsibility for your actions? Which is kind of a joke, because I have to have a whole thing about Satan and devil and everything else. And for those, and, and Cliff Note version, I don't believe in one. But I wanted to speak to this point of view of responsibility because it is a freedom tool. Many years ago in a seminar I took back in the 80s, we talked about how, and they, they, keep, they, they used to do a lot of wordplay. So I say responsibility is two words, response, ability, meaning the ability to respond. And that works to a degree, but I want to speak to it more inclusively. Responsibility basically means taking back your power and by speaking your truth. Part of that, let me play, I'm gonna play them in a few levels. One of those is when you make mistakes, clean up your mess. When you do something wrong, clean up your mess. When you cross somebody the wrong way, make, clean up your mess. You see there's a theme there. Um, because it's important, I believe, as conscious people, caring people, authentic people, to be responsible, to be caring, to be willing to take responsibility for things we do wrong and we do right. Because there's both sides of this. So responsibility is not just, I made a mistake, I need to clean it up. It's also like, if you've got a mission to fulfill, take responsibility and do it. One of the reasons why I do these talks every day is because that's my, one of my responsibilities is to keep going deeper into my work and sharing it this way, which is why I've done 720, whatever it is of these. So responsibility is not just about, oh, I've, got to do, I've done something negative, I need to fix it. It's also about owning up to your responsibilities as a positive expression. For some people I know out there, and, I, and you know who you are. I may not know who you are, but you know who you are. You may be having this, or you may have had for many years, this wish, this dream, this vision you have to do something in the world that's gonna make a difference, and you haven't done it. Well, if it's in your awareness and it's in your radar, it really is a responsibility that you take on to express it. Whether it's a hobby or a side business or a main focus, being driven by that is a powerful and positive thing to do. So that's one way of being responsible. Again, on the other side of things, this could be if you made a mistake, if you got into a car accident, or you, um, you know, cut somebody up on the freeway, or I'm thinking of what different things it could be. 
make like life all right then i'll use an example it's happened to me today just one little thing is as i said clean up your mess when you make one <laughs> i made one today um this is gonna sound weird but let me explain it quickly i have a i'm, I'm getting pr i'm getting pretty good at the in the kitchen i'm not a great chef but i'm pretty good at using like the stove and things you know like it's not rocket science but it's, it's something i've been learning to do better and one of my things i like doing is roasting vegetables it's just the thing i happen to like doing because it's easy to make vegetables for that are tasty enjoyable and, and doesn't require lots of finesse and lots of oil it's a long way to make a point so i basically had tied i i, I roast but i i roast potatoes not not baked potatoes roast potatoes different so do, i do this pretty frequently because it's a staple even though it's a starch and i shouldn't be doing too many potatoes and anyway forget about diet i happen to do that a lot and today i thought well i got some beets from the market i would just wrap them in foil a little bit of olive oil and salt and roast them i came in to check them about half an hour after i put them in and I opened the door to check to see how they're doing and smoke billows out of the stove and i'm like, oh shit so i had to open all the doors open all the windows because i didn't want to set the smoke alarms off and when I finally looked underneath, I saw there's a big puddle underneath that was burning. I mean, like smoking at the bottom of the oven. And what I realized when I took out everything out of the oven carefully is that the foil I put, I wrapped the uh, beets in, had cracked, had split open because I cracked, I caught it on one of the, the on the shelf. I'm going a long way to make a point, I know. So I realized I could, you know, gloss over it and pretend it didn't happen. But I knew that because I have a, ho I have a housemate, that I need to take responsibility. So, first of all, I did ventilate the house massively <laughs> to evacuate all the, the steam and smoke that's coming out. But also, I turned the oven off and I figured, okay, I've got to delay my baking. You know, it's like, oh dear, I have to do that. So, I took everything out of the oven once it cooled down a bit and then proceeded to clean up the mess totally underneath, rewrapped three times the foil to make sure it doesn't leak, and then started again. And I was sitting there with that process and realizing that it was almost like a, a done deal. I knew I had to do it. And that's one of these things that I've learned as a practice. And it's not about being approved of by other people. And in fact, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if I didn't mention it because I've actually made the stove cleaner than it was before. That was a win-win. I may even tell my housemate I did it because as long as there's no smell left and everything's going away, okay, nothing to say. So be, taking responsibility doesn't always require you telling anybody about it. That was a long way to make a point, I know. But the recognition is that sometimes when you realize something is wrong that maybe you didn't do right or you, or you could have taken that step in fixing or you basically didn't you know when you didn't do the right thing. It's that simple. I, I, I know for myself that when I saw something or I, I did something, part of me is like, oh, that wasn't right. I could have done better. The second thing after that, the first is like, oh, crap, I remember, I realized that. The second thing is do something about it. It's tempting sometimes to just like, it's okay, I'll be fine. I'll ignore it. It won't, it, won't, it, won't, it won't come back to bite me. Wrong. Because <laughs> nine times out of ten, it will come back to bite you. I have definitely glossed over things and paid the price later. Um, I didn't take responsibility, responsibility for my car. This is way back when I didn't take care of registration. And in California, registration, you get ticketed after it expires. But at six months, and, this was, and I realized how clear it was, if, you, if your car's on the street and they see it, they'll tow it. And six months to the day after my registration expired, I came out in the morning, my car was gone. It had been impounded. Now, I knew that was not something that somebody needs to take care of, but I wasn't being responsible for it. The price I paid <laughs> was way higher than the registration. Now, that wasn't about anybody else. That was just my experience because it wasn't somebody else's car. It was my car. So I want to make the point that, that responsibility is sometimes the easiest thing to do, ultimately. Because it's tempting to say, so I can slide it, don't to do with it, I can forget about it, it'll be fine. But the price paid later on sometimes is so much more interest on top than you planned. It's healthier, easier, and more, um, what's we're looking for? Comfortable, perhaps, to pay the price earlier. It'd be a smaller price up front than a bigger price at the back end. So responsibility is a powerful place to leverage your power and a, pl and a powerful way to actually take ownership of your space. There's um, one of my friends, uh, Brian's, Brian Reeves, talks about this. He said the three, the th this is a really shit thing, by the way. The three words that women love to hear isn't, isn't, necess isn't necessarily I love you from their man. What, it, what really works is I got this. And I love it because he quotes that and he, he quoted one of his articles, I think, in an interview. I love what he said because it's so true because when when in relationship a man and a woman are in a really 
deep relationship, when she asks for something and he said, I've got this, it's telling her she can trust him because he's being responsible. Now, having said that, you need to follow up with action. <laughs> I'm making this very simple, but it's the truth. Is that, fr frankly, you know, sometimes you say, well, I'll take care of it. Six months go by and you haven't taken care of it yet. And you know who you are in that one. There's, there's an old joke about that. It's like, there's no need to remind him that, he's, that he needs to take care of something. He's already told you he will. Just don't nag him every six months. So that's kind of a bad joke. But again, my point is that saying you'll do something, saying I got this, meaning I'll take care of it, means you've got to take action as well. So do so in a timely fashion. Don't just keep putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. The price you pay later again is way more expensive than if you do it up front. And the price you pay in a relationship, if you said you'll do something, you don't do it. The cumulative upset you're going to receive if you don't do it for time, months, weeks, whatever it is after that point, it isn't worth the price. It's going to be way more than you want to, so do it up front, take care of it and handle it, whatever that responsibility is. So for me, I, I value responsibility. And I said it before, it was, it was the quote from that seminar was, it was the ability to respond. And frankly, it's so true because it is the ability to respond. However, it's also the ownership to respond. And I think there's more to it than just simply saying, well, I've got the ability. Because the thing about the ability to respond, ability is static. It's like, I can do that. The question is, will you do that? Will you take action to fix? So for me, responsibility is an active process to actually bring something to completion, to resolve, to complete to correct whatever that thing is that needs to be fixed, up-leveled, resolved, or whatever it need, needs. I think I've got all the answers to that. So I'm, I'm kind of passionate about responsibility because it works. And it is a thing that when you do it, when you do it, there's also a nice little side benefit. It's oftentimes you feel better about yourself afterwards, which is kind of cool too. So for me, when I talk about responsibility, I'm really saying it's about the individual as well as in relationship. Because in relationship, it's vital. I believe, no, it is vital, period, <laughs> that both partners take responsibility for their participation in that relationship. If one gets lazy, that's a lopsided energy in the relationship and it's not very healthy. So when you choose to both take responsibility, it elevates the relationship. And when you're single, being a responsible person, it, besides because it does make you more attractive because people feel the energy of you being in integrity, because being responsible, taking action to respond to things that make things happen the right way, is a way of influencing and supporting your own confidence, self-confidence and integrity, which are attractive qualities in relationship and dating. So when you become more responsible, people will look at you with, with greater um, appreciation and respect. Not a bad way to be if you're single. So as I said at the beginning, this is a powerful skill and tool, or a key, excuse me, a primary key in relationship and when you're single. So this applies to both. I think you got my point. So a little story, give some examples, reframing. I'm just making sure I covered what I was going to talk about. I think I've given you everything I need. Uh, let me think. Is there anything else? Well, as I said at the beginning, I do invite your questions, comments, and thoughts about this because responsibility is not always something easy to do. Um, in big picture stuff, it could be about custody of children. It could be about taking care of aging parents. I just have watched that happen with um, a friend of mine's father who actually just passed away with the responsibility they took very seriously to make sure his last days were, care for, were cared for. That's responsibility. So responsibility isn't just about cleaning the, stove, cleaning the oven as I was doing necessarily, or about making amends for something you may have done to cross, well, let me say it this way. Just hold that thought, we'll come back to that one. So it can be as big as family dynamics, taking care of children, taking care of aging parents. The one I was gonna talk about was this thing about um, making amends. Part of this, Yes, it does. Yes, Mary. Hi, Mary. Responsibility has to do with integrity. It absolutely does. Um, what was it? Or making amends. So part of responsibility, or one of the aspects of responsibility, is when you've made the mistake, you've crossed somebody the wrong way, you've done something to harm somebody emotionally, mentally, maybe even physically, that making amends to clean it up is part of that responsibility. So um, just thinking accountability... There's a piece about accountability that sits in there as well, but I'm not sure it belongs in this piece because responsibility is in a way to be accountable. It means that when you are, uh, if you've done something, you've crossed something, you've made a mistake somewhere, you're accountable to that, so you need to respond. So ability to respond and accountability that go together in this context. And yes, they do have a lot to do with integrity because when you are being responsible and accountable, you're actually becoming more into alignment with who you are, which is your integrity. 
so I'll leave it with that. I'll leave you with that. I think there's not much else. I mean, you've got the points. I don't need to repeat and keep reiterating. I think I've made the point on this one. Key to healthy relationships. Key to living life successfully. A key to your integrity is responsibility with a side dish of accountability. Um, thank you for watching. Appreciate appreciate you being here. By the way, this is my daily chat, daily share, daily inspiration. If you haven't seen my broadcast before? You can find somewhere on this. Um, um, broadcast should say we uh, be notified next time I go live I think it's one of those somewhere you can click on that and be notified um, what's that Mary saying making that men's accountability is special that's the thing it, it shouldn't be special it should be normal I believe accountability should be part of our natural way of responding is that we're accountable for our actions accountable for our work accountable for our words accountable for our, um, th our way of being well that's true yes okay so some people say I'm sorry without meaning it yeah that's very true See, that's the thing, that's not being responsible. You're saying, I'm sorry, just to throw it out there. And I know people like that who do that. They just say, I'm sorry, but they, don't, they just go ahead and do the mistake again. They don't, they don't clean up. They don't, they're not responsible. They're not accountable. They're not any of that stuff. Um, actually, no, I, I, I don't. You said some people act responsible but don't mean it. I'm not sure that's actually true. I believe people only act responsibly when they do mean it. If, not, if they don't mean it, they won't be responsible. At least that's the way I feel about it. But you may have different experience. So... That's my view anyway. So anyway, to wrap this up, because I'm completing this to sign off, because I want to keep my broadcast reasonably short, like 10, 15 minutes. Um, this is my daily Facebook Live, as I mentioned. If you haven't seen me before, come join me at 5 p.m. Pacific time on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. My replays go onto my business page, which is Barry Selby, the author on Facebook, as well as my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I welcome you to join me. And the playlist is called Messages for the Masculine. So different experience to let you go I'm not sure if it, what, I'm not sure quite what you mean by that I'll, I'll answer when I sign off um, but thank you Mary for your input I appreciate that um, so replays replays join me live so every day yes so this is every day at 5pm Pacific time on personal page which are beans I'll be back here again tomorrow at same time same channel and uh, I invite your thoughts questions and ideas about responsibility and accountability uh, please put them below and I'll respond when I sign off I appreciate you being here I'll see you again tomorrow for the same same time, same channel, as I mentioned. And uh, take care of yourselves and be more responsible in a good way. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.